Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you that how you can teach yourself about Linux and anything cool which you want to learn like shell scripting and stuff like that. So uh, this is the open letter support of Richard Stallman. So uh, this is something happened in Linux. Uh, you know okay so the thing is that uh this page contain lots of people's personal website so some are github links but uh there are a lot of personal website and i really love uh looking at people's simple plain html websites i think this is pretty artistic and i get a lot of ideas for example i saw this website it's written in emacs so this is actually made with org mode and if you look at here in the stuff look at this article linux okay this is one of the most creative shit i see in a long time so this is a article and it looks like a documentation but this is actually a recipe of making cookies like this so how cool is that so you can see pacman minuses flour um, butter sugar eggs this is so cool and let me show you one of the best thing look at this this is a about page and a man page how cool is that and the girl who created this website use arch and emacs just like me so this is this was really cool shit and i got inspired with this so uh, to get more inspiration or uh, what i want is all the website personal websites uh, whatever i can found from this I am very sure uh, there are a lot of cool sites uh, here on this page. So I'm just going to demonstrate you that uh, suppose that I'm a newbie and I don't know anything. So how I'm going to, you know, fetch the personal websites out of this page. So the very first thing which I want to get is the source code of this web page. OK, so since I'm a noob, I'm going to search how to get source code of web page in Linux Unix. So I write Linux Unix in the end. Some people are going to write terminal in terminal. But uh, let me tell you, Linux Unix is always going to give you better result. And this is what I learned over time. I think that writing Linux Unix every time whenever you are searching for, you know, doing something in terminal, it's always good to write Linux Unix in the end. Okay, so uh, you're going to get a lot of, uh, you know, result, obviously, but uh, always try to see uh, websites like Unix Stack Exchange and Stack Overflow uh, instead of looking uh, to the articles. So here you can see a lot of answers. Whatever makes sense to you, try to use it. So for example, here in this example, it's telling you how to store the source code in a variable. Now I can, I think this is uh, something which is making sense to me. Uh, when I was new to Linux, I was familiar with curl command. So curl minus L. And after this, I just want to give this link and press enter. So yeah, I'm getting the source code. How cool is that? So now I can redirect this into output.html and it's just going to store the source code in this file. And if I do ls, I got this file. Now, since I'm a noob, I'm going to use nano to look into this file. And uh, as you can see, I got the source code here. So first step done. Now there is a very big issue with new users are they always try to Google the ultimate goal. So suppose if they want to go to the moon, they start Googling how to get to the moon. They are not going to Google how to create rocket or what are the steps to get to the moon, uh, what things I have to study to create the rocket, how to become astronaut and they do do research. They just want one solution. And when they failed Googling out the ultimate goal, uh, what they do is they go to the forums and they start asking the same question and they write uh, i tried to google it but i couldn't find anything they expect others to do the research there's a term term for this to dyor do your own research now i want the links out of this html document okay so if you look at this so there are a lot of href links so as you can see this href link so i want these links so what i'm going to do is I, again i'm just going to go to the google i'm going to write how to get href uh, value in linux unix okay so this is going to give me the result and no matter how good you become this is the process you have to follow every time and over time you're just going to learn it again i'm trying to look to the solutions here i got some solutions but uh, since these solutions are not making sense to me i'm just going to ignore these and now i'm going to modify my search results so i'm going to write a tag so 
I can get some better results. So because a lot of people are going to search it, search this problem this way. So you have to figure out the, what is the best way to query something, how to get a URL from a web page Linux units. Okay. So now I'm going to, uh, let's see what I got here. So here, look at this. this, these solutions look elegant and make little bit sense. Like this is using crap and uh, it's using these tags. Now I am in newbie, so I don't know much, but let's try this one. Okay. Here I'm going to get output.html and I'm going to pipe the output into this crap. Now some people are going to uh, say why you are getting into crap, but I'm a noob. I mean, I'm playing the noob. So here I got all the links. So this is the process. This is how you figure out. I did the step two now. And now what I want is I want this link here, not um, this href or anything like that. So what I can do is I can pipe this into cut command and minus T. Now, now you might ask why you are not Googling this. Well, you get the idea and I know about cut command because I, it's not like you always learn by Googling. Sometimes you learn from the videos you were watching when you were getting bored. So I was watching some Linux video and I saw this cut command and I learned about it. And since I know this, I'm just going to use this. All right. So learning is the process of, uh, adding pieces or, you know, uh, gathering knowledge piece by piece. So by using cut command, what I did is I used this quotation as a delimiter. So this string got split it from here and this is the field two. This is the field one. And I asked for field two because I wrote, uh, minus F two. So minus F two is for field two. Uh, sorry, I'm calling this minus it's hyphen actually. So yeah, I got the links, but here's one issue. I'm also getting the GitHub links. Now I don't want GitHub links. I only want personal website so I can use grab. So when I just grab GitHub, it's only going to give me the GitHub links. But when I use minus V, it's going to give me the inverse result. So it's just going to, you know, remove all the uh, GitHub results. So this is cool. I am not getting any GitHub result now. Now I also don't want any mail to. So what I can do is again, I'm going to type grab minus V and mail to, and I'm also going to type minus V VK.com because there were some VK links. VK is a social network. And now I'm getting a lot of personal websites and I'm also getting some GitLab and some other things, but let's just ignore this and redirect this output as personal website.txt so this is the list okay i got some bullshit crap here but again i i got what i wanted i got a lot of personal website links and let's just try to open some random website this is so cool so i don't know about you guys but i really found looking at others personal website pretty fascinating work i mean it's it's like art even the modern web is not completely art. Every website looks same, but looking a website like this is a truly amazing experience because every website is unique and looks pretty. Look at this. This guy name is Price Vandergrift. His website is pretty sweet. He also wrote the article about software he used and on the OS, the program. So this is so cool. I'm going to share this list in the comment section. I was a child in the 90s, take a ride with me While we all recall, wall ball and prank phone calls Bumpers for your bowling ball and we be hitting them all Because this is New Jersey and stay up late but still wake up early To get to school with your seatbelt buckled When Pokemon cards taught me how to hustle And kids rode orgy on their backpacks What did that mean when my parents left home for the evening? Googling, I found a splash screen that asked me if I was 18 Well basically, of course I'm sure How did the computer know when I was born? A generation formed by internet porn